Hello everybody, my name is Ben. Welcome back to my channel. So my internet friends, this is June. Today is June the 2nd, which means it's an unboxing video for my May order from Discount Comic Service, DCBS. Now, um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that they're my preferred choice to buy uh, new comics because the discount they give. So here it is. This actually showed up earlier than uh, last month. Remember last month they showed it didn't show up until middle of May, but uh, this month they sent out early. Okay, so let's see what I ordered. I, I think I remember mostly, but it's, it's since I made this order back in let's see, March. Yes, March. So I don't really remember what I got. I think I remember some of the stuff. So let's check it out, shall we? All right. And once, of course, they're very well packed. You got these two foam pillows, you know, to protect the comics. And then you have the comic books itself. All right. As always, they do package very well. So hopefully I don't cut my comic books when I try to get this out of the plastic. All right. Here we go. Whew, actually, you know what? It's a lot more than I thought. I thought my May order was kind of, was kind of small, but oh, that's all right. Which is cool, you know, that means I got a lot of reading to do this weekend. And I uh, also got to go see uh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I think here is very good. And uh, are you guys going to see it? Are you guys high expectations? All right, anyways, enough small talk. Here's the packing list. So we have uh, 23 books. That's not bad. What's the first one? First one is, what is this? We Are Legion? I don't know what this, I don't think I ordered this. Is it like a free comic thing? Okay, so like a free comic book. Right, that's cool. I think it's just a description of an upcoming DC Comics. Yeah, yes, okay, so this is just, all right. Yeah, it's like a little sneak preview. All right, let's see, we got, okay, this is a new Storm, a new storm series from Marvel. Uh, Marvel actually brought back uh, Anne Nesenti uh, for a bunch of their new series. And she, of course, she's a very, uh, she did a very good run of Daredevil back in the uh, the middle, no, late 80s and early 90s. I'm glad they brought it back. She's a very good writer, so I'm excited to read this. I think she has another title too coming next month. I, did I pre I don't remember. Vanish by um, Donny Case, Ryan Stigman, one of my new favorite series from Image. It's uh, so about a super. A wizard actually uh, found out the uh, the superheroes in his universe are really villains from his past, pretending to be superheroes, and he's trying to take them all out. You haven't been reading this book uh, so far? It's very good. What else have we got? So next book, this is uh, World Tree number two from um, uh, James Tining the Four. Yeah, um, actually, I read this one already. I bought a copy this past week. The uh, the B cover from Midtown Comics. This is this is a really nice cover. Uh, a little bit more, this is a very, very violent series, uh, but this is the most intriguing uh, James Tynion series since Something Killing the Children. It's very, very violent too. Uh, if you can't stomach it, I don't recommend it, but it's very well written. Uh, it is very intriguing about this, like the internet infecting people becoming killers and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Next book is, this is Local Man number four from the Dog by Tony Fleece, uh, one of the co-creators of Stray Dogs, one of my uh, favorite image series from two years ago. Uh, yeah, this is a very much like a homage to early 90s image series, like, you know, like your Wildcats, your um, Youngblood and such. Yeah, that's, yeah, another one of my new favorite series from Image. What is this? This is Star Starstorm number one, okay, by Drew Craig and uh, Jason Feinstein. This is a new image number one. Again, I buy these because a lot of the image number ones, uh, DCBS give half off retail to. So I'd like to give it a shot, you know, see what it is. And image, I'm by myself buying more image books than any other company right now because they do such a great job. And uh, let's see how this, uh, how this goes. I'm, I'm excited to read it, all these image ones. Punch Up, this is the free comic books day book. Uh, well, let's say they threw in to give me. Thanks. It's the Star, oh, another, another free comic books day book, the Star Wars one from Dark Horse. And another free comic books day one. This is the Street Fighter Six preview. I think I already got a copy of this when I went to the uh, my local comic store. 
it's not bad. Uh, the new series came out last week, I think. I haven't checked it out yet, but it's supposed to be the prelude quote to the new game. So that's that. Yeah. All right, nightclub number number five. The uh, one of the really good series from uh, Mark Millar. So far, you know, Mark Millar has done no wrong when it comes to his image books. And uh, also, this is only dollar ninety nine. So wish it was like a real cheap. Look at that, only dollar ninety nine. You know, usually you don't find books that uh, at this at this price anymore. Even Spawn, you know, Tom McFarlane had to leave, had to uh, raise the price to two ninety nine, which is the cheapest comic you'll get out there. But yeah, I'm surprised it's uh, it's only dollar ninety nine. Also, it's very good. You know, about uh, a kid become a vampire and uses power to become a superhero. Anyways, um, yeah, well written, the artist gorgeous. If you haven't read it, well, you know, I recommend you go to your local comic store and pick it up. Or wait for the trade. I think this will be out in August. If you want to wait, for, just wait for everything to collect together. All right, uh, Justice League of America number four. Now I, you know, usually when I when I heard Jeff Jones is coming back to JSA, I was pretty excited because I loved the JSA run back in the uh, early two thousands. Unfortunately, this this series has not been that good. Also, that's another issue is that this book's been delayed, delayed, delayed. This is only issue four when it's, you know, I think it should have been on issue seven or eight already. So the delay that killed the momentum and the storyline is just not that great compared to his older stuff. This is kind of let down. Um, it's a 12 issue maxi series. I'm not sure I could stomach all 12 issues, but since they come out so infrequently, I don't know. Um, have you guys been reading this? What do you think of Jeff Johnson's current run on this JSA uh, maxi series? Do you still think it's good as the old ones or you're let down too? Let me know, leave a comment. Uh, Dark Ride. This is by Joshua Williamson. Joshua Williamson. This is number six. Yes, yeah, fun series about you know like an evil Disneyland type of thing with a lot of demonic creatures and stuff. It's a fun read. Against uh, yeah. image, you know. So far, most image books are you know quality. All right. This is uh, Ghostwriter Danny Catch. It's written by classic Ghostwriter writer from the '90s, Howard Mackey, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it's also the classic. Uh, well, not classic, but you're not you're the '90s Ghostwriter Danny Catch. I haven't, you know, I just, you know, I like Ghost Rider, so I'm going to give this thing a shot. Also, the regular Ghost Rider series is excellent, too. Avengers, this is the current Avengers number one. This is the uh, uh, the John Tyler Christopher cover, uh, negative cover. This is written by Jet McKay, one of the better writers from Marvel right now. I don't know what this is about, but, you know, I, I like to give it a shot. Uh, you know, new Marvel number ones, I usually see how it goes. Uh, hopefully it's good. I mean, Marvel is going to put out some quality... Um, number ones, I don't like the you know the relaunch, but you know Al Wewin's gonna do Thor again. I'm not Thor again. He's gonna do Thor later, and then you have J. Michael Straczynski coming back to in Captain America in September. So I guess Marvel learned less and actually putting quality writers on this. Let's we'll see how this goes. I like him McKay mostly, so I sh this should be pretty good too. Um, Miles Morales Spider Man number six is he's fights looks like he's fighting Carnage here. I don't. Um, Unfortunately, I did not know this was actually a crossover series. So this is issue two. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to get the whole series because there's a bunch of crossover with other books I don't read. Um, maybe I'll just take a break from Bob Miles until this crossover is over. The cover's cool though, huh? huh? Cover's cover. Ah, one of my favorite series right now is uh, Batman Superman. World's Finest is number 15. Yeah, you know you know who's by, you know, Mark Wade. Uh, Dan Mora is a beautiful combination of, of writers and artists and they have this is so far you know 15 issues in is still the best ongoing series from any company uh, Keeper of Cosmos number one from uh, Scouts Comics this is just some random indie book I booked uh, I want to check some of this cosmic adventure stuff out I don't even know what it's about but I'll, I'll read it and hopefully it's good Ghost Story number one from Boom Studios, written by Colin Bunn. Of course, it's well known for writing horror comics. Uh, and uh, yeah, again, this is, this is indie number one. Of course, uh, DCBS had it for half off, so why not give it a shot? I like horror comics. Okay, Daredevil number 11. This is the Derek Chu cover. This, of course, is written by Chip Zdarsky. Is this series going to come to an end soon? I think issue 14 is the last issue, and the Marvel's going to relaunch it again with uh, Ahmed Saladin writing it. So that's a downgrade. So far, you know, this is this series is still quality. It's not definitely not as good as it was during the original Chudarsky run from a couple years ago, but it's still one of the better uh, Marvel comics. 
So this is about to come to an end. I don't know how where, how, where this goes. So that, um, yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know, unfortunately, there. I wish Marvel put a better writer on it instead of us, uh, Ahmed Saladin, especially you know taking taking over after Zadarsky's really good run. I don't think I'll grab that series. Though. Invincible Iron Man. Okay, this is I don't. I'm uh, this is a cover buy for me. This is a, a Rose Beachy cover, which I thought is really cool looking. I mean, I read the first issue of the current uh, Dugan run on Iron Man. I just not I'm not impressed. But this is just pure cover buy. Uh, Junkyard Joe for Gary Frank, Jeff Johns working their magic. This is a fantastic series. You know, again, it's one of those image for series I really really do like. It's, it has a really you know anti-war message to it, which is nice, and uh, it's a very hard, heartwarming story too. Anyway, that's that. And more image. Here we go. Nemesis Reloaded. This is the issue number five. One more issue to go. Um, continuation of the uh, the original series. Mark Barlar, um, the yeah Jorge Jimenez. You know, again, I wish Jorge Jimenez is back doing Batman, but Malar got him doing this series. Hey, this series is wonderful. Very violent too. Again. Phantom Row, this is a new Jeff Lemire series. It's about uh, a delivery person that go through different dimensions and such. It's been a fun series so far. You know, I think issue one was very intriguing. Issue two was more of a more, uh, world building type. So this is issue three, let's see where this goes. But again, this is one of the, uh, the new image series I really, really do enjoy. And last last book will be Amazing Spider-Man 25. This is the uh, Disney, uh, I've been by all the Disney uh, anniversary covers too. This is of course the homage to New Avengers number one. Uh, it's cute, huh? Anyway, more cover by. I don't really read Spider-Man. Um, I understand that the current Spider-Man run is not very good, unfortunately. So more of these uh, only cover buys. Anyways, that is that. And uh, yeah, so I got a lot of reading to do, a lot of bag and boarding to do, and I still got to go see Spider-Man. How about you guys? Going to see uh, Across the Spider-Verse this weekend? Anyways, that is that. Well, I'll be back next month for another unboxing video. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you know, like, I get that big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, you can share it with other people and uh, comment below. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll always respond. And I also want to know, you know, what books did you buy? And I know that some people really like using this uh, DCBS too. You know, they're a good service. They're on, on, my only complaint is they use FedEx and my, my local FedEx delivery is horrible. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you very much. Have a good weekend and uh, see you guys later.